In this video, I'm going to show you how to add the speed hack detector to your scene, start it up, and how it works. So there's two ways you can do it. You can either create an object and attach the protected speed hack detector, detector script to it, or you can go to game objects, create hack protection speed hack detector, and it'll say it's been added, and you see it here. So the speed hack detector has some values to it. Uh, stop on detection. This will make it so that it only fires the callback once and then it stops detecting for speed hacking once it hits it. Uh, if you don't have this checked, that means every single update that it detects speed hacking, it'll fire that callback. Threshold in milliseconds is a buffer zone for the time being inconsistent. So if for some reason your client uh, like time is off by up to by up to 50 milliseconds, we're gonna say it's okay. I can make this bigger, or I can make this smaller, but if you make this too big, like if you make this one second, they could technically, and like with the interval, like uh, it's potentially would allow them to actually speed hack up until that point. Uh, so technically somebody could speed hack by, what is that, like 0 0.05 or something uh, time speed, but eh, not too big of a worry. So detector check interval is how how often uh, the detector will check to see if somebody's speed hacking. So this will do every one second, it'll check and say, are you speed hacking? Which will determine is the time in, is the time messed up by uh, this 50 milliseconds? And if it is, it'll say, okay, we hit a positive value, which is where these come in, maximum false positives. We're gonna say, in this case, where I have it set to three, that you can actually trigger the detection three times and, we'll, and we won't consider that speed hacking. Maybe something just spiked, like maybe there was a sudden spike during the update and it was off by a big degree, but then it corrects itself. This will allow for some uh, tolerance there and false positive reset cooldown says after 30 seconds, we're just gonna, re if there hasn't been a, a hit within 30 seconds, we're gonna reset that count back to zero, which means we can get those false positives again. Now, if we ha if we go four seconds in a row in this case, we check every one second and we have three positives, it'll say, you're, you're cheating, and it'll fire that callback. And we can see that here. So I'm gonna just hit start, and I'm gonna go to the code first and show you how what actually happened when we hit start. So when we hit start, it called this method on protected speed hack detector dot start, and it did trigger speed hack detector. Uh, trigger speed hack detector is this method here, which is the callback, which is gonna set that text to say detected, and it's gonna set it to red. I have a reset button here too, which I'll, I'll use to restart it, which you can notice I do restart, that stops it and then starts it. Uh, that'll just be for purely example purposes. Uh, so let's move that out of the way. Now to cheat, to make speed hacks, I have these cubes rotating. Let's open up cheat engine, attach it to the process and say, enable speed hack. It's taking a little while, do, 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 and I have it enabled. I wanna go really fast. Do, 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 oh, look at that, super fast. So about three seconds, and then it says speed hack has been detected. If I hit reset, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi detected. So let's go back down to one, hit reset, and we're good as new. And it's not getting fired because we're not speed hacking anymore. Now if I go here, what if I wanna actually slow it down? Ooh, is it gonna work, is it gonna work? Yep, it worked. So it'll detect speed hacking in either direction. You're not allowed to slow down the game. You're not allowed to speed up the game. And this will just this will just give you a general warning. Uh, my use case for this is I want to make a boss that's hard, and timing is going to be something that's important to the boss's mechanics. And if you were to use speed hacks, you might be able to throw off the timing of abilities and make it so the boss never uses like the really hard attacks or something. So I want to disable achievements and make it so like you don't get achievements if you're speed hacking. Uh, you can still play it, but you're not gonna get the achievements. So that was my use case. Thanks for watching. Check the description for the documentation.